Brian, and I'm an idiot. <laughs> this is a raw, fresh habanero pepper. I know there are a million hot pepper challenges out there on the internet, but I do not do this kind of thing. So this is going to be pretty painful. The challenge is I'm going to eat this entire pepper, and as soon as I swallow it, a three-minute timer will start. During that three minutes, I will recite the Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner without a drink available to me until I am done. If I can get through the three minutes, I will be rewarded with that nice big glass of milk that's over there. <clears throat> get and sink it. Think mm -hmm. something. Think. Think. There we go. <coughs> <clears throat> Hear the rhyme of the ancient mariner. See his eyes as he stops one of three, mesmerizes one of the wedding guests. Stay here and listen to the nightmare of the sea. And the music plays on as the bride passes by, caught by a spell, and the mariner tells his tale. Driven south to the land of the snow and ice, to a place where nobody has been. <clears throat> Through the snow fog flies on the albatross, held in God's name, hoping good luck it brings. <laughs> And the music plays on as the bride passes by, caught by a spell, and the mariner tells his tale. Did I already say that? I don't <clears throat> Driven south to the land of the snow ice, to a place where nobody's been. I've already said all this. I've, I'm, I'm already lost. I'm, I'm, I'm so confused. <laughs> Onward, moving on. <laughs> I can't even think of the words right now. Wow. The mariner kills. The bird is good omen. His shipmates cry against what he's done. But when the fog clears, they justify him and make themselves a part of the crime. Sailing on and on and north across the sea. Sailing on and on and north. Until all is calm. The albatross begins with his vengeance. A terrible curse. A thirst has begun. <laughs> his shipmates blame bad luck on the mariner. About his neck, the dead bird is hung. And the curse goes on and on and on. You see? And the thirst goes on and on for them and me. <laughs> day after day, day after day, we stuck nor breath nor motion. How much time is left? Uh, you got another, like, it's only a minute and 50, 50 seconds. As idle as a painted ship upon a painted ocean. Water, water everywhere, and all the boards did shrink. Water, water everywhere, or any drop to drink. <laughs> there comes Mariner! There comes the ship on the line! But how can she sail with no wind in her sails and no tide? See? Onward she comes. Onward she nears out of the sun. See? She has no crew. She has no life. Wait! But there's two! Death and she, life and death, they throw their dice for the crew. She wins the mariner, and he belongs to her now. Then, crew one by one, there's more left in my mouth. Yeah. They drop down dead. Two hundred men, where are you going with the timer? <laughs> she, she, life and death, she lets him live, her chosen one. <laughs> one after one, by the star dog at noon, she quit for groan nor sigh. Each turned his face with a ghastly pain and cursed me with his eye. Time! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You did really good, Brian. Way to go. You did better than most people. Four times fifty living men. <laughs> I groan nor sign or groan. With heavy thump, a lifeless lump. They drop down one by one. Excellent. Uh, don't cry.